Now the third component, which is often the most controversial, and even when the alternative world traditionally was often overlooked as detoxification, although in recent years I will say it's become more commonly prescribed by alternative <coughs> practitioners. And these are simple techniques like the infamous coffee enemas that ironically and paradoxically come right out of the conventional medical literature that we find help the liver and the kidney work more efficiently. As the body repairs and rebuilds, the normal tissues are going to release a lot of toxic debris like heavy metals, pesticides, hydrocarbons, you know, there are over 79,000 chemicals being released in the environment. A lot of these chemicals and products get stored in our cells on our program. The, the cells start releasing them, they do house cleaning, dump those, these toxins into the bloodstream, they're filtered in the liver, in the kidney. Also, there's nothing more toxic to the human body than dead tumor waste. Oncologists recognize that. Although chemotherapy doesn't work for most cancers, it does work for some, and for many it can reduce tumors, though not long term. If an oncologist learned a long time ago, if they kill a tumor too fast, the patient will die from tumor lysis syndrome, which is simply liver and kidney failure due to the overproduction and the too rapid production of dead tumor waste. That happens in our program too. So we have procedures like coffee enemas. Now, oddly enough, when you drink coffee, it suppresses the liver. When you take it rectally, it stimulates the sacral parasympathetics that will, will through a reflex, spinal reflex, stimulate both phase one and phase two detoxification systems in the liver. They're absolutely critical. You can't do our therapy without doing detoxification routines. We also have procedures like liver flushes and fast, juice fast and, and um, colon cleansers. All our patients choose whatever their diet, whether they're meat eaters or vegetarians. The amount varies. Our vegetarian patients always need more. The purpose of juice is you're concentrating all the vitamins, minerals, trace elements, and, and enzymes in complete raw form. Now, it's true when you juice, you're getting rid of the fiber. Fiber is an important nutrient. You know, but on the other hand, the Eskimos never ate fiber, and they never had constipation either. It depends on who you are. But, yeah, fiber can be a useful nutrient. But the purpose of juicing is you're concentrating all the nutrients, and without the fiber, it's like pre-digested food. And a lot of our advanced cancer patients don't have a lot of extra energy, and digestion can take energy. With juicing, you're kind of pre-digesting, and it's all raw, and it's all there. You get rid of the fiber. It's like instantly absorbed. You get all this nutritional bolus of good stuff right into the body very quickly. And the patient doesn't have to expend a lot of energy. For advanced cancer patients, it can be life-saving. You get all this good nutrition in them simply and easily. And also, juicing, because it's raw, it has all the enzymes. We don't tend to think of enzyme, enzymes as a nutrient. But every cell, whether it's from, from a plant or an animal food, contains hundreds, in fact, thousands of enzymes as part of its normal metabolic machinery. Enzymes are catalysts that allow biochemical reactions to occur very efficiently. And every cell and every organism in the world has hundreds and thousands of enzymes. Dr. Edward Howell was a great American researcher who spent 50 years of his life showing that these enzymes from food can be absorbed like a vitamin and a mineral help the body repair, rebuild, and fight disease, even cancer. However, they're very heat sensitive. When you heat food, you destroy some of the vitamins like vitamin C, folic acid. Some of the minerals like calcium become less available. But these food enzymes that Howell talked about above 117 degrees Fahrenheit are neutralized and it knocks out. He was a big proponent of eating raw foods. But juicing is a good way to get enzymes into a body from the food in a pure form without any damage. So it has a lot of value. It's, it's, it doesn't require a lot of energy. It's all concentrated and all the enzymes are there because it hadn't been heated. And it's absorbed very quickly so you get a rapid supply of nutrients into these very sick people. And what if you're not sick? I mean, oh, I, I juice myself. Um, I don't juice as much as my sick patients. I think juicing is valid for everybody. It's you're getting nutritional benefit quickly and easily mm -hmm. right into the body in a concentrated form. You couldn't ask for anything better. Mm -hmm.